Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to download old apps to your iPhone 3G, 3GS, iPad 1. As you know, you have an old iPhone and uh, you can't download any of those apps since they require iOS 6 or over. Um, same thing goes for iPad 1. Um, you're stuck in iOS 5 and you can't. So this will teach you how to. First we need to download iTunes. So you can go to apple.com and download iTunes from there if you're on a PC Windows. Um, if you're on Mac, you already have iTunes, so you won't need to do that. However, um, once again, if you're in iTunes, um, go to the web's web page from Apple.com. Okay, then you're just going to click on iTunes, and right there you're going to see a um, blue button that says download iTunes. Okay, so from there it's easy, it's free, it won't take up too much from your computer, so you'll be fine. Once you have iTunes, we're going to do everything from iTunes, okay? from your computer. Um, what we're gonna basically do is download uh, the apps from iTunes, okay? In order to do that, you need to sign up for an Apple ID, all right? So after you do that, just go to iTunes Store, okay? This, this is iTunes, so just make sure to click on iTunes Store. Once you downloaded the app, um, or you're trying to download the app, then it's when you can create your, um, your free Apple ID. This app ID is very important, so everything gets stored in there. So once you go in there, you're gonna go to App Store, and you can choose from iPhone or iPad. Okay, so if you have an iPad one and you need some old apps, just go into there, or iPhone, go into there. Okay, um, just in case we're not gonna sync up your iPhone to iTunes, and that way we're gonna get the apps to be installed. That's not the way we're gonna do it. Um, we're actually gonna download any of these free ones uh, to your iTunes, okay? And obviously you have to be signed in once again on your with your Apple ID. If you don't have one, once you download one, it's gonna ask you for one, so you can create one. You just need an email, a valid email, and that's it. So right now we're just gonna click on search stored for Facebook. Um, I will have to mention that I already have um, obviously Facebook downloaded, so it's gonna be there. As you can see, it's going to appear something like that on yours. Mine says update. On yours will say free, such as this one right here. It says free right there. So you're just going to click on that, and then you're going to start downloading it. So you're going to see them a little bit different than this. That's not to be exactly the same. But you will see pretty much the same thing. I'm just going to click here on Shazam. Um, I'm going to put in my password right there. Okay, once my password's done, let's download Shazam. Okay, so that's all you have to do. <laughs> okay, so download all the apps you want right from here. Okay, if you want Twitter, Facebook, um, other ones, other free games out there, Flappy Bird, which I don't think it'll work for iPhone 3G, but you could try it out. Um, just do it right from here. Then what we're gonna do is take it to your iPhone, okay? So we're gonna go into an iPhone 3GS and we're gonna have a look at uh, an iPhone 3G. So here it is. My iPhone 3GS is on iOS 5, and the 3G is, is stuck on iOS 4, okay? So this will work for any 4.2.1 or just 4, um, same thing for 5.1.1. Uh, this is the 3GS, so I'll show you the 3GS first. So we're going to go into the App Store icon, okay? From here, we're going to have to um, sign into your iCloud and your, if you don't have iCloud, don't worry, it's the same thing as your Apple ID, so just sign in there, so just tap on Future, scroll all the way down, so I'm just going to do that again, okay, and then you're going to see your Apple ID, if you don't see it, just put sign in, okay, and sign in, just put your email address, which is your Apple ID, plus your password that you already set up. Once you're there, just make sure your Apple, everything refreshes in your App Store, so I, I just tap on each one to see if everything's refreshed and it's fully working. My internet this time it's kind of slow, so the icons are kind of weird down there. So yours will be, be a little bit different. Don't worry about it. Same thing. Um, on your 3G it's gonna be a little bit different as well. But anyways, once we're in here, just tap in your um, updates. Okay, on updates, what you're gonna see first is this something empty since you have no apps to be updated or you might see one or two but anyways we have to tap on purchase on purchase we're gonna see all the apps that you downloaded already on iTunes okay 
And from here, you see that cloud thing? It means that you these are all the ones that you downloaded already. And as you know, you downloaded them on your iTunes, on your computer already. So you can tap on any of them. Not all will work on your iPhone, but most of the basic ones will. Okay, so I'm just going to look for any of these just to download it so you guys can see. Um, there's Facebook. Okay, so I'm going to download it into my 3GS. So just by tapping on the cloud, it's going to ask you for your password again. So just put in your password and then it'll give you this message that you can't because it's 6.0. But it'll do it um, and it'll look for a version that's compatible with your phone. So you just tap on download and it's going to download. Okay, this might take forever in the start, okay, because iTunes has to look back at other versions um, of Facebook that will work for your phone. So that's it. It's that easy. Um, you just have to do it from there. You can also do it from your friend's um, iPhone as well. If you, if you have a friend that has a newer phone, you can do it from there. Um, but anyways, I'll get into that a little bit later. So that's for your 3GS. It's kind of the same thing. As you can see, it's downloading already. It might take with yours a little bit longer. Don't worry about it. You can do several at a time. This is my iPhone 3G. It's on iOS 4. Okay, um, you do not need jailbreak for this, just in case, so don't mind the Cydia thing icon there. It has nothing to do with this. So we're going to go into your app store. On your iPhone 3G, it's going to work a little bit different, and you could say a little bit easier. Um, it's also going to work a little bit slower, since uh, iPhone 3G does take forever uh, to just download all the content. So don't mind the Spanish thing right there. It's saying cargando means downloading. I just had it set up in Spanish. So uh, there you will see it says updates. Okay, so there are no updates. So it's not the same thing. You have to go into search. Okay, once you're in search, there is where you're going to look for what you want. Okay, so in this case, I already looked for Facebook and I downloaded it. This time I'm going to look for Twitter just to show you. It's another example. So there's Twitter. Oh, wrong one. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Twitter, the first option. So once again, we're just going to download it, and you're going to see the same message telling you that it's not compatible, but it will look for a version that's compatible with your phone. Well, if you have a 3G, you can't. Um, it's better if you just leave the store open. Uh, if you minimize it, it's not really minimized. You're kind of closing it. So that way, it'll take longer. It'll disconnect and connect again and you might get a little error message, which is not a real error. It's just not connecting to the App Store. So right now we're just going to click on Install, Password again. Okay, there you go. So just click on Download. As you can see, it's giving you the exact same message. So just download um, older version of the app. There we go. Okay, right now it's just telling me that it couldn't connect to the App Store because I, I closed the app store so I just have to open it again or just leave it there it will download okay with 3G since it doesn't have multitask that's why it takes a little bit longer but anyways besides that um, what I said about your friend's phone what you can do is borrow your friend's phone sign sign out from his um, iTunes okay in his app store just sign out and sign into yours or create one okay and then download all the stuff that you want okay uh, once you download it all you can erase it from your friend's phone then go back to your phone go into App Store and just do the exact same thing that I did here if you don't want to do it from your computer anyways if this was any help if you guys have any comments questions just write down here below and don't forget to subscribe and rate really appreciate it alright guys once again any comments here below see ya